Hey everyone, we have one last theorem to talk about in our limit laws section. This is one of my favorite ones. It's called the squeeze theorem. Although, uh, depending on how close to lunchtime it is, I also refer to it as the sandwich theorem. Um, it's actually a pretty straightforward theorem um, when you look at it graphically. But if you look at the algebraic statement, uh, it can be hard to understand. I want us to start by looking at that algebraic statement of the squeeze theorem, then we'll try to understand it conceptually uh, using the graph. So the squeeze theorem says, if we have three functions we're comparing here and they all satisfy this inequality, that f of x is less than or equal to g of x, which is less than or equal to h of x. So think of f as your smallest function, h as your biggest function, and g as your middle function. Um, so this inequality is always true for x values near a. What actually happens at x uh, equals a doesn't matter. That's how that's the case for all of our limits. So this inequality might be true. Not be sorry. This inequality might not be true at x equals a, but it's certainly going to be true everywhere close by x equals a. So if that inequality is true, as well as the limit as x approaches a of f is equal to the limit as x approaches a of the function h, and both of those are the same, say some number l then that's going to force the limit as x approaches a of our middle function g to also be equal to l. And so that can be a little bit hard to uh, interpret, just looking at it written in words or kind of algebraically. But if we draw a picture of the situation, um, it becomes much more clear what this theorem is trying to say. So here I have a, a graph of an example of when the squeeze theorem would apply. Here are our three functions, h, g, and f h is our biggest function, right? It's greater than the other two, so everywhere. x or h is always bigger than g and f. g is our middle function. It's always falling between uh, h and f, and f is our smallest function. And if we look at what happens near x equals a, well, our biggest function and our smallest function, h and f, have the same limit. So as x gets closer and closer to a, those two functions have to pinch together and together get closer and closer to L. While they're pinching, our function G is always in between those two functions, so it's gonna also be forced and pinched to that value of L when X gets closer and closer to A. That's really all the squeeze theorem is saying. Uh, you got this little uh, middle function squeezed or sandwiched between the other two. If the other two functions approach uh, the same limit, then that middle function is approaching that limit value as well. The squeeze theorem uh, doesn't show up uh, all the time. It's not something you'll probably use every single day, but it's really important for some uh, proofs that we'll use throughout the quarter uh, if you look at those proofs. And it's uh, also helpful for finding limits of certain types of functions, in particular uh, trigonometric functions.